Hello, Internet! I'm back! Beltheria, that is. With a new episode of Pokemon Sapphire version by Nintendo and Game Freak. And, as promised, oh goodness, two weeks ago now, I'm really terrible at the... Uh, at sticking to any sort of schedule, aren't I? <laughs> Let me just... Oh, you know what's on screen? My mouse. That's not good. And let's go ahead and get rid of that. That's distracting for me. Um, yeah, I'm back. I'm going to make this episode extra super uh, not interesting for you. <laughs> I'm back. Bell theory, that is, in case I forgot my own tagline. Um, so, yeah, we have a... Uh, a team leveled up to 26, and it looks different from last time. As I promised, I remembered the team that I was going to be using, for a little while at least. Uh, and here they are. I will show them off. You know Hector and Kevin and Orville, but new to the team are... Let's just go ahead and make this easier on me. Florence! I was not originally going to use Florence, but I am now. <clears throat> at least for a while. Because I think she's going to be super cool for the team. At least until she gets outpaced. But a good ghost type can go a long way. And a good dark type can go a long way. And she's kind of both. She will get outpaced stat-wise. That is an inevitability. But we're going to do this. Uh, uh, don't know why I bothered to exit. Next! Pickles, the drummer. Uh, not the ability I would have liked to have on Pickles, I'll admit. Uh, but, you know, whatever. It, it does limit our moves a little bit, but uh, when he gets fully evolved, Pickles is going to be a boss. Regardless of his ability. And then I have Shelby, the Makuhita. Shelby is lower level than everybody else. Because I didn't want her to evolve off camera. But, thankfully, because my training method involves having a team full of zigzagoons while one person just beats up low level mooks until they get high enough, I have a load of rare candies and way more money than I did before. Also, two King's Rocks, one of which is on Florence, the other is in my inventory because why not? But we're gonna go ahead and we're going to evolve Shelby now. Oh my god! Shelby is evolving thanks to the use of performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> Alrighty. And. Shelby has evolved! Congratulations, your Shelby has evolved into a Hariyama. Now, I was super stoked to have a Hariyama on my team. I don't know how stoked I am about that anymore, having looked at uh, her level progression. But she'll do for a while at the very least. And now she's as powerful as pretty much everybody else on my team, more so attack-wise, by the looks of it. But still kind of average on speed. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give her two more rare candies to keep her up with the rest of the party. Party! 25, and 26. All right. Yep, 26. There it is. Lost track of my finger for a second there. My thumb, I should say, because a thumb is not a finger. Very important distinction. Um, let's finally, for the love of all that is holy, get to the next town. Boy. Um... Oh, Trick House. I said I was going to do an episode on the Trick House. Turns out that's, that would be really long. I'd probably have to split it up into several small things. And the rewards from it aren't very good. Um, and the final reward is the only thing to go for. It's a tent. You get a tent for a secret base. But since I don't have a secret base, uh, the ability to get a secret base, I'm not going to do the Trick House until I get a secret base. It will happen. Just not for a while. And... Hmm. Let's see. Let's show off the new team in combat, shall we? Let's start with Shelby, since Shelby is newly evolved and has something to prove to everybody else. Oh my goodness, I did not notice Shelby's health. 113. That's... That's hot. That's a hot way to live. Alright. Gilpin. 
you poison disembodied stomach. Ugh, seriously, this thing is gross. Whoever thought of this needs to just have not thought of it, if at all possible. But we're just going to tackle it and see what that does. Granted, I'm double its level, but I'm also really strong. Oh my, okay. Not as strong as I'd like, but the battle's over. <laughs> Take it, Goldman. Dig it in your face. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. Oh, no. I forgot about this. Uh, hi, job. Uh, long time no see. While I was uh, searching for Pokemon, my Pokemon grew stronger. So, uh, how about a little battle? Yep, you know, May, that's, uh... That's alright, we'll do this. Because I'm kind of way more powerful than you. Like, obscenely so, almost. Let's see, Whelmer, little whale guy, is water type. I don't think there's any problem here, but, uh, how about we screw up your strategy a little bit? She'll be Whirlwind! Oh. Ho ho ho. Two fighters, huh? Let's do this. Boosh! Oh! Boosh! Oh! Boosh! Oh, one more time. Boosh! Ho ho! My fighting type is better than your fighting type. Yeah, that's right. I'm pretty ballin'. <laughs> and now that you're gonna send out the Wilmer, let's check out Florence. Again, no type, no type advantage on this, which, uh, probably not smart on my account, but, uh, you know, it's fine, because I'm pretty sure that I can just start really wrecking this Whelmer's day, because I think I do 26 damage with this, 26 damage with the scary... Ooh. Seriously, that move has kind of a terrifying animation. Just, brr, I'm giant. And a ghost. Of a ghost. Ghost deception. Uh, you know what, let's finish this with the good old Fury Slice. Why not? And it's down. Take that, you whale bastard. Not providing clean burning lamp oil for humans anymore with your endangered species list. <sighs> Those were the good old days. Uh, brief notice, we here at Belteria Games do not endorse whaling. Whaling is kind of a dick move. And, uh, not a fan of it, turns out. I don't know what, what May is sending out. I was too busy making a whaling joke. Oh, hey, this is bad for me. Sweet. <laughs> I, I love it when I send out a rock type to meet grass types. That, uh, that makes me feel good inside. Oh. Yeah, this isn't a problem. Oh. Uh-oh. I think this is a problem. Wait. Nope. Not a problem. <laughs> oh my goodness. I may have to more... Be more careful in my calculations for how much I want to level in the future so that I don't just make everything far too easy. Because, like, that's how I play normally, and I think that's pretty much how 90% of Pokemon players play it. But, you know, something about... Oh, hey, a gift! Sweet deal, the item finder. Try it out. If there's an item that's not visible, it emits a sound. Huh. You should train a lot harder for the... Girl, I beat your ass like a red-headed stepchild. <clears throat> um, we here at Belt Area Games do not uh, condone child abuse. Uh, even against gingers. Oh. That... That bitch had a bike. I want a bike. 
Get back here. Tell me where you got that bike. Oh my god. Electric, no, no, nobody cares. Nobody cares about you or your stupid mouth. You're growling. Get out of here. Go. Go on, get. Nobody loves you. Ah, oh, that's not fair. Electric's okay when it evolves. I ain't even gonna read that sign. It don't matter. It's probably something about, Oh, hey, look for items on the ground. <sighs> items on the ground. I'm just gonna keep whirlwinding things. Make them go away. Actually, you know what? If I have a repel, which I do, I think I'll just use that. Which I did. And, uh, oh. Ah, you... Good, I see your Pokemons. Collector Edwin. Nerd! Oh. Hello. Institutionalized racism in Pokemon. How are you doing? Um. I, I don't feel like dealing with you right now. Go away. Yes, yes, you can hit me with your little ping move all you want. But, uh, I'm going to destroy you with the power of martial arts! Sumo! Yes, sumo is a martial art. It's largely a sport, but, you know, one thing comes from another. I don't know in what order. I would not presume to do so. But, uh, you know, you know, these things, they just sort of happen. I'm gonna send out Kevin. Kevin should be able to take care of this guy pretty quick. Kevin! Be a darling and dispose of this frog thing, would you? Frog, duck, lily pad monster with a wing attack? Hmm? Yes? Can you do that? Oh, you can do that. Okay, good. Good, good. Chip, chip. Cheerio. Top, top. Looks like rain. But I wanted to complete my collection. <laughs> oh. Dude. No. <sighs> when I see a Pokemon... Yeah, I know. I get that, dude, but... No. No to you and your way of life. Damn it! Oh, not a psychic. Oh, I hate these guys. Let me guess. You have a Kadabra. Oh, nope, you have an Abra. At level 16. Oh, internet. This guy's a dummy. Because he has an Abra at level 16. And that probably screwed with the microphone a bit. I, I had to take off my glasses to get a proper face palm going on here. Abra, by default, has no attack moves. Zero until it evolves. At which point it becomes crazy strong and crazy fast. This guy chose to not do that. This guy chose to be a complete and utter dongus. They don't understand why. Oh, hey! Nana berries. I'm just gonna zip through these. With the speed up function of my emulator, which is a backup of my hard copy because I cannot record it without. Two roads, one above, one below. No one cares, no one cares. Oi, yo. Now oh, you are a battle. I thought you might have given me the next fishing rod. Oh well, hello, Dale. 
How are you doing? You don't say. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, you're not talking. I'm I'm just ignoring you. I, I don't consider this battle to be even remotely a threat. I'm just going to have Shelby destroy you. With the power of sumo wrestling! Get that E Honda thousand hand slap thing going on there. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh hey, another tentacle. Never seen one of those before. I don't know why I'm getting exasperated about that. I like Tentacool just fine. It's an okay design. Especially after they made it more angular. Just a little bit. More specifically, much like with Zubat, I like Tentacruel. Tentacruel is a baller. In my original Blue game, way the way back when, I used one as my water type for quite a while, and it was... Pretty awesome. I enjoyed it. Hmm. Okay. Cool story. Now, Dale, what did we learn about sending tentacles against somebody who walks up to say hello? Did we learn not to do it? Because I'm pretty sure you shouldn't have done that. Hello, guy. Did I talk to you? Yeah, I talked to you. We're gonna not have talked to you now with the speed up button. Oi, you. Yes. Yes, it would. Thank you for rubbing that in my face. Rick. Um. They put you on TV without telling you. Nowadays, you can, like, File a lawsuit over that. Hello. Yes? It would be easy to get to state for it. Did... Did you want that? I could probably get you that. I'm not going to, but I could. Oh joy. An X speed. There was an X speed on the ground, and I grabbed it. What do you got for me, nerd? Oh! Hey! HM! Could that HM possibly be... Rock Smash? Alright, well, hey, that whole... Your Pokemon looks strong! Here, have strength! No, 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 no. Rock Smash. Yeah! Oh, hey! The TV is on! On this program, get to have your opinions, shout them, sent out to the fan club. Uh-oh. Don't quote me, boy. I ain't said shit. But when you first laid Eidos on your grow vial, what was your initial thought? Cool. Did I say that? Huh. Let's see. What do Pokemon mean to you? Well, they mean the most metal thing of all. Nothing! <laughs> nah. That's, that's funny. But, no. Like, Pokemon's been a big part of my childhood. So, yeah, I Pokemon means a lot to me, actually. Don't need the Pokemon Mart. Hey, you! Nerdlinger. Yes, I know. Bring your Pokemon back to hell. Wah, wah, wah. Talk, talk, talk. Jeez. Da, 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 da. All right, we made it to the Pokemon Center. Let's talk to these guys inside. I mean, in a weird way, I do Yeah, what is up with your hair, man? They call me the hipster. No. No. The hipsters have invaded Pokemon! 
<gasps> Why? Um. Excuse me? Talk about Mega? I'm, I'm sorry? What? No. Pokemon couldn't have been playing the long con on that one. That has to be a randomized thing. Okay. Sure. Uh huh. Alright, well, I'm gonna heal up here at the Pokemon Center. Because I just got a little bit weirded out by, uh, freaky hair guy. And, uh,. I'm going to sign off. I don't even remember the name of the city. What is the name of the city? Marville. Well? I guess, welcome to Marville, everybody. There is a gym in this city, and we are going to tackle that. Probably not next time, because if I remember, there's some funky stuff that happens in this city. Next time, maybe the gym, maybe not. I don't quite remember. We're going to go to the gym regardless. But uh, for now, internet, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please consider hitting the like button. I always appreciate it when you guys show your appreciation for uh, these videos. And, uh, you know, leave a comment if you feel that you need to. Just gonna start adding that onto the tail end of these as well. Why not? <laughs> anyway, internet, you've been great. I've been Belteria. And, uh... You stay classy, okay? And I'll see you next time.